So first of all, what's your name? Uh, my name is Kurt. Okay, At, and last name? Yeah. Okay, and all of this is just between my company and Unity. None of this is going to be public, so don't worry about it. Um, so why were you adamant about bringing Unity here and using Unity instead of other platforms and programs you had? Um, when I first started uni using Unity, when, it, when the first release for PC came out. Okay. Um, and before that, I thought it, was, it looked pretty interesting, but I didn't have Mac, so I, didn't, I never tried it. Okay. Um, but like, as soon as I tried it, I thought it was really powerful because uh, there's just so much stuff you can do. You can like any game you think of, you can you could make and make a prototype in a week or less. Okay. Easily. And is comparing it to the other um, technologies you were using, was it simply that it was just easier to use, or was it um, was the user interface nicer? I and mean, what what did you like um, about it most? Yeah, well, just because it's so so open and you can do anything you want, like for instance, Unreal. Um, you're pretty much limited to a first-person shooter or a third-person shooter or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and to make something different in Unreal, you have to reverse engineer everything that they did to make Unreal. So with Unity, you get the engine, some basic stuff, and then you just add on what you need. You don't have to go back and change everything that they did cool. to make the game that it is. Cool. So show me what you're doing with Unity. Well, actually, I wanted to sort of tell you how this game kind of came about. Okay. So it actually came about from me giving the students at the academy a basic demo mm -hmm. of Unix, U, uh, Unity physics. So and uh, so Unity, you know, has like uh, physics that are pretty, you know, easy to access, and you mm -hmm. can, you know, connect the physics to their uh, in-game uh, boxes and spheres um, and things like that. So and uh, it started as a seesaw, and then it became a catapult, and then I brought it here, and then you know I, you know, me and Kurt like built like a more complicated catapult, and then it became this. So okay. it kind of like it kind of like one thing, you know, and it just like we started with physics. It was so much fun, and you know, it kind of led to this. So, <laughs> so it started with physics, and then you guys built in. <laughs> you have the catapult, and now you're destroying homes. <laughs> Very good. So is it, it seems like it was pretty easy to do this. Um, yeah, I mean, most, of the, most of the time went into figuring out how to get the catapult's arm to pull back and uh, load something in and stuff. But like, I got that code working in about a day. And uh, after that, I was just tweaking it, making it work better and balancing stuff. But um, it's pretty simple to get a prototype working. And uh, the art's just cute, really, so 